brain. You two. What's this all about, anyway? It's... well, he... <sighs> you don't even remember, do you? Nah, not really. I swear, I can't leave you two alone for a... <laughs> Second. <sighs> That's it! Day after day, it's the same routine. Maybe we need to get away from it all for a few days. I know I could sure use a change of scenery. Ugh. Are we going to the Storybook Kingdom or Aqua Town or the Bonitorium Roller Coaster G4 Simulator Amusement Park and Daycare? No, none of those tourist traps for us. We're going to enjoy the great outdoors at the Lake Winnegabagoo Wilderness Lodge. Huh? I went there when I was your age. I have such fond memories. <laughs> been waiting for you. Add some nummy honey. There's plenty for everybody. <laughs> or was that a cartoon I saw when I was six? The usual, Hugo. This house is putting my kid through college. <laughs> Are we there yet? 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 We're there already? No, honey, this isn't the resort. We're just dropping off Mr. Cat so he can have a nice, relaxing holiday getaway of his own. At a kennel. <gasps> a kennel? This is a family vacation. Mr. Cat is family! It won't be much of a vacation for anybody if Coop and Mr. Cat are at each other's throats the whole time. Fine, we'll leave Coop at the kennel. Let's have a look. I'm sure it's really nice. Hmm. <gasps> Welcome to Mabel's Menagerie, the lap of luxury for beloved pets of all kinds. Ooh, what an adorable pussycat. It really is nice. Wow. Don't worry, young lady. Your lovable kitty is in good hands with Mabel. Now you folks run along and enjoy a worry-free vacation. Bye now! All right, show's over. Seems to be a bit overgrown, but I'm pretty sure the resort is up this way. Howdy! <laughs> you folks lost? Nobody comes here who ain't lost. We're looking for the Lake Winnegabagoo Wilderness Lodge. You know it? Know it? I run it. Uh? Wait, are you Glenn? Ranger Glenn? The Lake Winnegabagoo Wilderness Guide? I sure was. I mean, am. I used to come here every summer when I was a kid. No phones, no internet, no TV, no radio, no distractions whatsoever. You're darn tootin'. We got ourselves a whole lot of nothing. No bathroom. Oh, we got a real modern one of those. A double-seater. Guess I'll use the boy. 
bushes. Oh, dibs on the ones without thorns. <gasps> What's the matter? You're not happy with your big ball of nothing? <laughs> What we got here is a failure to cooperate. Stale and the tuna comes from a 1950 army surplus stash, but a bit of toasting ought to fix it up proper. Just like roasting marshmallows, right, kids? No. Ooh, who's up for some campfire songs? Hey, that's my dinner! <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to get up close and personal with Mother Nature. Hey, say, Glenn, whatever happened to the other ranger who used to work here? I remember she really loved animals. Oh, she sure did. At least she did before the incident. Let's just say the critters around these parks can get a mite nippy. She was never quite the same after that. To Mr. Cat? Hmm. What sort of lunatic sends a postcard to an animal? having a nice time in the middle of nowhere, even though there's no bathroom and all the toilet paper is made out of leaves. Daddy likes it here, and he keeps telling us we do too. So we're going to stay a few more days, and you get to enjoy your kitty spa a little while longer. Wish we were there. Oh, Millie. <laughs> What have you been up to? Me? Oh, uh, I had to use the little boy's bush. <laughs> uh, well, uh, since we're up, why don't we do a little stargazing? No, wait! Don't go out there! <laughs> You've got a lot to learn about getting away from it all. Oh, I'm really sorry about this, Glenn. Well, truth be told, I was planning on renovating the old place. 
It's the raccoon's fault. It keeps stealing all our food. <laughs> it's an evil menace. It has to be stopped. Oh, this all sounds a little too familiar. Oh, get out of my rucksack, you nasty, evil little furballs. Oh, take my granola bars. <laughs> 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 you, you beast! Back in your cages, all of you! Back, I say! <laughs> oh! Get away! <laughs> Stop that! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, it looks like at least one of us had a relaxing vacation. <gasps> Time to go home, Mr. Pat! Back in an hour? Huh. Oh well, we'll write her a nice thank you note on behalf of Mr. Cat. For <laughs> animals, they're everywhere. <laughs> well, at least the repairs are done. The old homestead is back to normal. <sighs> Yep, there's no place like home. It's out there. It's right behind the door. No, <gasps> don't open it. We have to. It's our only way out. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> To Coop Burtonberger. Who's it from? Hmm. Yes! Ah! Ah! What is it? <laughs> Lavender? Does he actually think I'd wear a lame scarf like this? What's Cat's game? Dear Coop, I needed this just for you. Hope you like it. Fiona. Fiona? Like I was saying, what a cool scarf! <laughs> pretty scarf, Coop. Did you lose a bet? You smell pretty. You sure you want to wear that in public? Sure, I'm sure. Fiona made it for me. I mean, it would have been nice if she picked a different color and skipped the sparkles and the lavender perfume. Otherwise, it's perfect. Hi, Coop! Ah, baby! A hand-knitted scarf? <laughs> Whoever made it has no fashion sense. I'll donate it to charity for you. Hey, let go! <laughs> Phoebe, it is time for your pony combing class. But, Papi, I'm helping Coop with his scarf. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You must forget about him, Phoebe. He wears the wool of another woman. And as the owner of Vast Sheep Holdings, I can tell the yarn is a special imported variety. Who is she? Hey! Cat! <laughs> can fix anything, except scarves. <gasps> Hello? Hey, Coop. Fiona, did you get the package I sent? Uh, yeah, sure did. Hope you like it. Uh, yeah, it was, is awesome. You must have put a lot of work into it. You can model it for me when I see you on Saturday. I'm coming to visit great, 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 great Auntie Munson. That's in two days. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's great. I'll see you in, uh, breaking up, battery low, and... Uh, <sighs> Just tell her Cat wrecked it. No way. Fiona will think I'm a total slacker for letting Cat get his claws on it. There's only one thing to do. I have to learn how to knit. Uh, Dad? I need to ask you something kind of embarrassing. Ooh, is it that time already? Okay, Coop, first you have the birds, and then the bees. Not that embarrassing. Can you show me how to knit? Knit? Oh, 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 sure, sport. How hard can it be? Help! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Thanks, Millie. You sure have a way with wool. Gotta find someone to show me how to knit a scarf by Saturday. Mrs. Munson's a good knitter. Hmm. What do you want? I need to learn how to knit. It's an emergency. Stop! Yeah, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Millie! Wouldn't you like to learn how to knit a scarf? That sounds like fun! But it's gonna cost ya. <laughs> Remember, you're cleaning Mr. Cat's litter box for three months. What do you want? Oh, hello, Millie. Hi, Mrs. Munson. Could you teach me how to knit? Why, I'd be happy to, dear. Yes! You're not ready for wool yet, young one. Once you are able to snatch these knitting needles from my hand, you will be ready. But until then, no wool for you! Pause off my yard! This room sure got drafty all of a sudden. Pupil. To become one with the wool, you must study the ancient ways. mysteriously disappeared from the Marino Del Oro Ranch. As the owner of vast sheep holdings, I offer a reward for the return of my flock and the capture of the bandits. Oh, man! Can't let our family get busted for sheep rustling. Hope Dennis is still up. Ugh. Remind me never to answer the phone after 9 p.m. Uh... Let me think. Sheep like to follow the leader, right? Right. I should have said wrong. Uh, uh. Move your woolly butts! And whoever has Fiona's yarn better not be eating it. The Deloro Ranch is too far away. Let's just leave them at Phoebe's house. <laughs> Dennis! <Whoa. laughs> We've been rustled! <laughs>
Oh, I am most grateful, Mysterious Shepherd, for your reward. You may choose the best of my flock. That one? But it's so scrawny. Hmm. Huh? Ah! Hey, my score! <laughs> Once the drool dries, it'll be as good as new. Think Fiona will notice? Only if she uses her eyes. Millie, that house cozy is the best I've ever seen. I made it from the big ball of wool Mr. Cat brought me. <laughs> I'll never have to pay for heating again. Congratulations. You've earned your fifth degree wool belt. Well, I'm glad someone's happy, because Fiona sure won't be when she sees what I did to her scarf. Oh, no! <laughs> Fiona! Hi! That's the scarf I made. Uh, Cat ruined it, but duct tape didn't fix it, so I tried knitting, but Millie wasn't ready, and then the sheep came, and then the UFO crashed, and I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry! You're sorry? I must have mixed up the packages. I made that for Cousin Shirley. She must have gotten the black and green snow butter hat I needed for you. I hope you didn't wear this out in public. Uh, you did! <laughs> That's so... Goofy? Flame-brained? Well, yeah, but in a totally sweet way. Fiona, get away from him before he drools on you! Just look what he's done to that poor scarf! Fiona! 